Now let's make this circuit. I bought from China this uh, kit. It is uh, complete. It has all the part you need and also the PCB. It's very simple. It has a high voltage transformer, one NPN transistor, one diode and one resistor. It's uh, very simple to do. You can make it in half an hour. First of all, let's discuss about the schematics. This is the schematic. It's very simple. It's one simple oscillator with one transistor and one high voltage transformer. Let's see how it works. When we connect the power, we'll apply a positive voltage in the base of this transistor and the transistor will close. When the transistor will close, this uh, will make a negative voltage, will apply in the base of this. Uh, when this transistor is closed, will appear negative voltage here. And here, when we have here negative voltage, this transistor will open. When transistor is open, we'll have here positive voltage and uh, we'll go on and on. We'll close and open. We'll use a laptop battery, 4 volts, and this uh, high voltage transformer. This will create uh, 15 kilovolts output and we'll make plasma. So I made this and I made some tests and I noticed some problems. When uh, distance is too big and we don't have here uh, discharge, will appear uh, discharge from the high voltage coil and this uh, core. I will show you. And that's why I have to insulate better the end of the coil and the fedit core. So I put uh, 4 volts on the power supply and now let's connect. As you can see so you saw that uh, between the beginning and the end of this coil appear electrical discharge to this ferret core. And now I have to take this out and put some insulation there. Now let's look at the place you can see. Now let's look better to the coil. You can see the place where appear electrical discharge. Now I have to put some insulation there. I've used this uh, high voltage insulator. It's taken from a mark microwave oven. I put uh, two pieces of this here between the fer ferrite core and the coil, the endings of the coil. Now let's make a test and see if it's working. I will let a big distance here. Now let's see. It seems it's working, it's oscillating, doesn't, uh, sparks doesn't appear here. Now let's put this closer. Closer. Now you can see the spark. Now it's working perfect. Let's put on the power supply to check the current. I have one amp. One amp.
If this is closer, the current is 2 amps. If I let to the distance, current decreases. Now let's use the oscilloscope to check the frequency of this. I will put on the primary coil. Now let's start. The frequency is uh, 15 kilohertz. Now let's see what happens to the frequency when we modify the distance. When the distance is closer, frequency increases up to 30 kHz. Now let's mount these uh, pins. Now I've put these pins, I put some insulation here, and now let's make a test. I will use the power supply. It's working perfect. I have 2 amps current. Let me check the transistor. It's hot. Now I will put this paper into the plasma. Now let's make some fun experiments. Let's see what happens when I put this plastic inside the arc. Now I will put this insulator. It burns, as you can see. Now let's see. If you have some ideas, please uh, put it in a comment and I will 
try to verify your ideas. If you have any question, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.